So I'm going to try to do my best Key West Waterman impression here. Coming up on this sponge garden. Got a good sandy bottom. There's a lot of coral, some artificial reef pieces as well. That one angelfish that just swam up to me to check me out. And instantly came across a huge school of Sailor's Choice grunts. Um, I was scaring the crap out of them, doing all this flailing around and whatnot. Um, that one mangrove, good sized mangrove, just darted off to the right too, so I knew there's going to be some of them around. And yeah, here I'm just flailing around, trying to scare everything off, don't really know what I'm doing. Definitely a learning point. I'm in no way any type of experience in the water, so definitely not good come up to a new spot first go around and scare everything like that but we'll be all right so moving on here I'm trying to maybe figure out what I'm doing coming up on I'm just looking in the tiny corner so I honestly can't see too good come across big little school of parrot fish here checking them out a couple pork fish mixed in there too the darker area is actually kind of underneath the dock, so the viz wasn't the best day, as you can see, uh, the sun nice and high, but under that dock, it was pretty dark to where you couldn't really see much of anything, so I had no idea what was lurking under there, kind of first go by, and kind of come to the other side of this garden, there's still a good bit of those parrotfish, angelfish, um, some blue grunts mixed in there. types of fish. Let's say the choice school that I have been scaring off. Alright, fast forwarded a little bit. Came back on the other side. So I have my GoPro on my chest mount. I don't have a good mount on any goggles or pair of goggles or anything like that. And I just took a shot. At, I remember it was a good size hogfish. There were a couple other fish, maybe a mangrove mixed in there, but I had seen a big hogfish and whenever I kind of flowed down to the bottom. Obviously it's not the best vantage point to see at all what's going on. So we got a couple angelfish. Maybe that's yeah, the angle is just all all off really now whenever you're kind of going forward. Alright, so fast forward again. Those parrot fish just went by. I'm honestly not even cannot figure out the exact species of those parrot fish. I think it's either the princess or the striped. But maybe they change colors. They look pretty young. Maybe they change colors with the age. So diving down, can't really see anything. But I found pretty much the easiest thing that I would be able to hit in the whole ocean, which is a lionfish kind of hanging out at the end of this tube. And I've been back a couple days since then, and every single day there's been a new lionfish hanging out in that same exact spot. Uh, I guess just maybe they fit perfectly in the kind of block that's too for anything kind of going either way. They kind of perfectly sit on it, so interesting. Lionfish would be up those tubes probably. But yeah, got some good target practice on them, doing the ecosystem a favor. They are obviously an invasive species in Florida. They are live in areas like this and eat a lot of the young of those native species and now compete and they don't have any natural predators so we have to go in there and make sure we stand in to help out. And so yeah, pretty much from here, just kind of get rid of him. Alright, so that was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. I went down, I was not expecting much. It's been five, six feet of water, got a big goliath grouper following me around. Got to take some target practice out on this lionfish. I mean, I missed a big hogfish. There's a big hogfish that I had in point blank range, and yeah, nothing. But honestly, I don't really want to potentially get stabbed by this guy, so I think I'm just gonna kind of just let him float off. I mean, he's gonna die one way or another as long as we get the lionfish. I mean, I would like to be more humane, but I don't know how to handle it properly to try to brain him. And my thing I want to do is cook myself. Well, of course, it looks like we got a little storm rolling in right now, but I'm going to get back in the water. I don't know if I got that grouper on video because of this chest mount. It's not the best, easiest way to see far, but it is a big goliath grouper following me around, and there's 
I can't, I don't even t I can't tell if they were some type of cybers. I didn't think they were mangoes or schoolmasters. I wasn't sure what they were, but. Alright, let's just eat him off. Alright, here we are, back underwater. The visibility just keeps getting poor through the video. And all the fish are terrified of me at this point, so it's pretty not the best quality for getting good pictures of the fish. We've kind of just seen the whole environment, I think, is still cool. Um, you kind of see where it goes from the grass back to kind of the sandy coral garden, sandy area. Just the change can harbor lots of different fish. So the angelfish, gray angelfish, um, there's a couple queen angelfish throughout the video as well. I think I'm, there might be a few French, get all three of the main ones. There, the parrotfish, the porkfish. Yeah, the angelfish are definitely some of the most intrigued or interested fishes in what you're doing. And yeah, just scattered all of them out from under that too. Going forward, I think this is about where I see that Goliath. Uh, well, it's about to pour down. I gotta get back. The boat and the fish seem to be getting a little bit more weary of me. Or there could just be some sharks or barracudas that rolled through. Down through them all. But either way, I need to go. Alright, had to come back out here after that storm passed through. And it's looking mighty fine. Pretty Alright, just pulled up on the new spot. We are far out here. You can hear the Fury boat. You want to tie them looking down already, seeing a good number of fish. See some snappers. Those look like the Sailor's Choice. Some barracuda, decent size, kind of show up. So, let's get in and hopefully the water's a little clearer right here, but there's no telling. There's a lot of snappers just congregating under me right now. Once again, I just skipped forward a little bit with the chest mount. It's really bad video whenever I'm actually trying to spearfish or dive down. You don't really see a whole lot. I'm coming over this wreck, ton of little fish. These are all little schoolmaster snappers right here, all just living right around the wreck. Um, there's all types of pork fish, sergeant majors, lots of other fish as well, little wrasses. Um, this wreck was really full of fish. A lot of them were small fish, I would say. I really kind of go back to my, my flailing around here for a little bit. And also the water can go from really blue to kind of green. I don't understand where that's from, but there's a ton of bait around this wreck as too. So there's glass minnows. Later there'll be a ton of pilchards coming around. Um, and this looked like a super old wreck. I mean, this is Man of War Harbor in Key West. Ships have been coming here for a long time and a lot of them from a long time ago, whenever it was much easier to wreck a ship or put it up onto the flats or something, so, or for ships to just sink. But there was a whole lot of structure right here around that these fish were living in. A lot of the smaller fish kind of swimming around the bottom, you can tell as I flail around. You see the tides picked up, I mean, there's a good amount of sediments flowing around the water. Couldn't, couldn't see a whole lot, but you see all these bait fish I'm surrounded by right now as I'm trying to tread water by flailing an arm around, just really throwing everything off. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, they're pretty much running into my camera. For them to be that close, I'm completely surrounded by them. That's about the time I was thinking 
Like this is a lot of bait. Uh, there's gotta definitely be some some predators around. No telling how big or small, but there's gotta be something thick around. Whenever you think about it, for all of these, and you see I dive down and all of them just scattered around everywhere. Checking out the bottom of this wreck right here. Fast forward a little bit, still can't, this bait is surrounding me. And he got to the point where I was like, there's gotta be some predators around all this bait. And lo and behold, about to go into slow mo. Coming right up here on the top right corner. It's honestly a little easier to see in full time, but slow mo, I can only do it one way or the other. So, slow mo, really the easiest thing to distinguish is the dark V fork of the tail um, right there, and then the white body connected to it but it was a freaking massive tarpon. At first glance, I looked over, I thought it was a shark. It was so thick. I mean, the juvenile tarpon I see in the marina, um, you know, don't get to be that. They're pretty, pretty skinny and long, almost like a barracuda. But this tarpon was built like a tank. I mean, he was a seven, eight footer. I mean, hundreds of pounds, 300 pound tarpon. One of those trophies people try to chase after. I mean, the viz wasn't great, so, I mean, it's pretty a little nerve-wracking to think that's something that big swim around with you that close and you have no idea. But it's just kind of how it is on those low viz days. I mean, it was probably only five or six feet, and then in between that it was all cloudy, so nothing you couldn't really distinguish anything all that great. Alright, well that was some really, really poor spearfishing. Uh, I missed every shot I took. I had a couple fish dead to rights, some nice snappers. And then that was insane. Coming back towards the boat, I was like, holy shit, this is a lot of bait. Like, I was in, like, a swarm of bait. No, completely surrounded me. Good size pilchards. Probably some other type of sardines because they weren't all pilchards, but they were some big ones too. And then, of course, lo and behold, right next to me pops out of nowhere a freaking tank for a tarpon. A freaking tank for a tarpon. I mean, it looked like a bus. It was so thick. I mean, I'm, I'm, it was a tarpon. It was just a... It was not like anyone I'd seen in the marina. This was a freaking monster tarpon. Alright, spearfishing was not going all that great for me today. But I just threw some squid on, threw it in there, and got a sailor's choice. It's actually my first time ever catching. I was seeing him down there and I looked it up or that's what I thought it was, but I mean with the squid he hit it pretty I mean Yeah, there we go. Quick and easy. Oh That's a nice schoolmaster right there. I don't know why I was blinking on his name for a second there. I don't know, they gotta be 10 inches. I mean, he's like right at it. I'll just let him go. Alright, just got another one of these little boogers, a little sailor's choice. God, got me a little bit. Left my, let my guard down for a sec. But. There's that freaking monster tarpon again. I don't know if you can see him. Stud, hundreds of pounds. Hundreds of pounds tarpon. That was the one that I saw right in the water. Just kind of if you can see him. Ugh. 